areas of sectors and composites. So what is a sector? The best way to think about it is just thinking of about a slice of pizza. So let's have a look and draw a circle or a pizza. And then a sector comes from the center with two lines out to the edge and we've got two sectors, one being small and one being big. Here's our small sector and our big sector. It's actually called the minor sector and the major sector. And how do we find the area of a sector? Well, it's very similar to the area of a circle. It's going to be the angle inside the sector divided by 360 degrees because that's the total degrees in the circle. So this just finds what fraction of a circle we actually have. So if you knew we only had half a circle, you could replace that with half multiplied by pi times the radius squared, which is just the area of a normal circle. So it's the fraction of a circle you have multiplied by the area of a circle. Let's have a look at this one. So here we have a sector where that's the center of the circle and we only have this part here. So how do we find the area? There's two ways we can do it. One is you know, if you know that it's a quarter of a circle already, you can just use a quarter times pi times the radius squared. And that's going to, if we put all that in the calculator, that's going to give us 176.7 centimeters squared to one decimal place. Or you could use the angle at the middle to find the area. This is a right angle, which means it's 90 degrees. So you could have 90 over 360 degrees times pi times the radius squared. And this would also give you 176.7 centimeters squared. Let's have a look at another example of a sector. So this time, we're after the area of the big part of the sector. We know the radius is 10 centimeters squared, and we know the angle inside here is 60 degrees, What's the area of all this bit? So it's important that if we're after this big area here, we need to know the angle that this takes up. Not this angle, but we can use it to help us find this one. So we know the total degrees in a circle is 360 degrees. So if that's 60, the remaining bit must be 300 degrees from here to here. We can use that to help us find the area because we know the area is the angle divided by 360 degrees times pi times the radius squared. So the angle is 300 divided by 360 times pi times our radius which is 10 squared. That can all go in the calculator and you get 261.8 centimeters squared for the area to one decimal place. Let's look at a composite shape that looks something like this. If we know this is 12 centimeters, and this is two centimeters, what's the area of all of this? Well here, we've just got 
half of a circle on top and a rectangle at the bottom. So we know the area is going to be those two things added together. So it's going to be the area of the half circle plus the area of the rectangle. The area of half a circle is a half times pi times its radius squared. But what's its radius? We know its diameter is 12. So that must mean its radius is half of that, which is 6. So we get times it by 6 squared. Plus the area of the rectangle, which is the length times the breadth. So we're going to get 12 times 2. So here we're going to get 18 times pi, because 6 squared is 36, and half of 36 is 18 plus 12 times 2, which is 24. 18 times pi is going to give us 56.5 to one decimal place, plus the 24, and we're going to get 80.5 centimetres squared to one decimal place. <music>